So in previous versions of these videos, I told you the BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe was the best car the BMW make. Well, this is blowing it out of the water. This is the 8 Series Grand Coupe, and it's nothing short of fantastic. In actual fact, you could stop watching the video right now. This is in the video, best car in the market today. But if you want to find out why, you have to watch the rest and hit subscribe. Okay, we're going to look at the outside of it first, then we'll go around the inside. Outside, we'll show you on this thing. So you can see it hasn't got the big new BMW grill. It's got the older one. It's got a little camera right in the middle of that grill as well. Very plasticky, don't mind that so much. That's okay, we can live with all of that. Sloping bonnet, look at the slope on that bonnet. All the way up there. And of course you have these beautiful, just aerodynamic lines up the front of it as well. This one has the BMW LED stuff going on inside there. It's raining outside, by the way, very much so. Heavy rain today. Uh, come around this side, no spot lamps, no nothing else. You don't need any of that sort of stuff with those LEDs in the front. A wheel that fills the wheel arch. Look at it, just fills this. Just nice size. Doesn't get a bit of travel there, but not too much. When you go into sports mode, that drops down as well a little bit. You got a fin on the side here, which is actually an aerodynamic fin. It displaces the water out from here and along the side of the car. Moving along here, this is all matte. The colour of this is sort of a matte. You can't actually wash this. Well, you can wash it, but I don't know what to do with it. Very teardrop looking area here. See that way it goes wide and narrow. And then if you look down on the side of it here, it's got big haunches, big hips sticking over the side of the car, making it look really big from the front. Then moving around the back, which I suppose might be its weak point on the looks front. A lot of people are commenting they don't really like this, but then it's 50-50. A lot of people say they do like it. I like it. I don't have a problem at all. It reminds you somewhat of a Toyota Supra in the back. Then you have exhausts that are not fake. <laughs> I can tell you that straight out because you've got a 3-litre petrol in this one. This is the 840i. She's a big beast. Under the bonnet of this one is a twin power turbo, 3-litre straight 6 engine. It's a big boot. It's not a clever boot. It's big. It goes back far. There's no shopping bag hooks or anything in here. It's just, a, it's just a cavity. It's not, you know, you get these big steps on either side, so you're not going to get a lot of stuff in there. Uh, but it's big, it's deep, but that's it. Let's set off. Let's set off for a drive in the BMW i, uh, BMW i40. If only there was an i40 BMW, it's an 840i, which is different. So, what's it like? Well, look, I put it into sport. Hear that beep, beep. That's telling me there's a stop sign ahead. That's what that's doing. But it warns you at the last second. I mean, you'd be doing a catastrophic amount of speed before you actually find out. This is comfort mode, and it's lovely for driving about on a sort of a damp, wet, miserable day because this thing will literally try to pull the tarmac off the road as you drive along in every other mode, apart from Eco Pro and all that sort of thing. But generally speaking, the kind of um, comfort mode is grand. And it defaults to it, so when you get in in the morning, it's defaulting to that comfort mode anyway. Uh, it's powered by a 3-liter petrol, one of the finest petrol engines still on the market today. It really is. It's crisp, it's responsive, it gets moving very quickly, it spools up fast. It is a beautiful thing on a motorway. It just hovers road. I'd have no problem with someone telling me, listen, you're going to have to drive to Bilbao. You go, yeah, okay, now. Like, or would you like to go there and then go back because you forgot your sunglasses? That's it, really. You know, it's just beautiful, beautiful thing. Obviously, I'm on lockdown, so I can't actually leave leash at all. Something's rattling over there. I don't know what it is. But to go through a few things that are perfectly genius in this BMW. Hopefully this camera will pick it all up for me here. So I've wireless Apple CarPlay, which 99% of the time works. It's okay, it's not bad. At the odd time it kind of goes, I don't know what you're talking about, but it never disconnects. Uh, it does in Audi, but it doesn't in BMW. But 
Uh, that's not to say it's brilliant or there's anything different about it. Wireless Apple CarPlay is okay. I have a wireless charger down there as well, and I have a standard USB port in the front. There's two USB C's in the back, uh, and there's a USB C under here as well. So you've got like four charging options in the car. It's also 12 volt socket, you know, two cup holders here in the front. Then you have the standard BMW layout, sort of Savorsky, you know, gear stick stuff. Um, it's fine, this is perfect. I love this, this all works. I have physical buttons along here, physical buttons along here. It's all perfect. But that is also a touch screen. So don't think for a second that they've only given you these mechanical ones, that's a touch screen, just like everything else. Don't play that song, thanks. Da, da, da. <laughs> Copyright strike. <gasps> um, I have an electronic dashboard in front of me as well. That works perfectly. This is just a perfect layout. It has the sat nav on it, has my fuel on it, which I've tried to burn as much of the go juice as I possibly can this week. But if you really want to get the old gentleman's vegetables moving in a big way, we have to change the note. We have to change the sound. So I'm gonna flip from the sound, which is the nice crisp sound from a lapel mic here, to the sound that comes in from this thing. And I'm also gonna flip this into sport mode. It is a wet day. You can hear the engine has kicked up there a little bit. And we're going to just get the sound, the noise, because it's nice and warm now, so get the noise of the car, okay? Now we're not gonna get the full beans of that because the traction control would cut in to try and stop the car just spinning around in circles on the road, which is probably what it's gonna do if I keep that up. Now, the insulation sound in here is amazing. I mean, I'm at 100, well, 97 kilometers now, right now, and I can't hear those cars going down the other side of me here. It's silence inside the car. It's beautiful, beautifully insulated. But when you want it, the power is there. When you don't want it, it's totally sublime. I mean, it just sits and edges the road. Here's another couple of cars coming. No, don't hear them. Silence inside the cabin. It's so perfectly insulated. Let's try a 40 foot truck. Here we go. Going at full speed. No, can't hear that either. Amazing vehicle. Absolutely outstanding in its field. I can't tell you how good it is for a real car company to make a real car once in a while. And that's what we're, we're looking on these kind of plasticky, electric, you know. Ah, little tiny engines. Let's have those 1.2 litre. This is none of those things. This is just the opposite of all that. This is this is power. This is a car for the petrol head, this for the passionate person. Don't forget that all these car companies used to be run by people who loved cars. Henry Ford and everybody, anybody. You go back through time and all the people who started all of the car companies were car nuts. They're all into automobiles and speed power that shifted over the last few years there's a lot of marketing people involved they're not really car mental heads like me and you and people who watch these videos they're not like that they're just people who have a job to market a company and make profits this is nothing to do with making profits or anything else now we will come on to the price of this car because in Ireland this starts hoovering around the 80 grand mark and this one that I'm sitting in is much closer to 125,000 euro. There's no nice way of saying that. I'm sitting down when I say that with a straight face, 125,000 euro. But what else would you spend it on? Oh, that kind of money, what's that gonna get you? It won't get you anywhere near the level of quality finish, the level of technology, the level of speed, the power, of unlimited power. No matter what speed you're going, if you put your foot down, you will get torque, which will drag you on even further. This car is amazing. I adore it. Can't put down all the power today. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny when it does it. It's just hilarious. Now, Technology-wise, BMW's got their own system installed here. They've wireless Apple CarPlay. They have wired Apple CarPlay as well. So both CarPlays are there. Not both. It's the same one. One's unwired, one is wireless. 
and it just connects up perfectly first time so just there it is it's connected my phone is in here there is no wires going to my phone it works it's fine sometimes you catch it out if you were jumping out to go into a petrol station or jumping out to go and get something you come back in start the car sometimes just because it doesn't seem to have reset the connection between the car it gets a little bit finicky but other than that it's fine seat position perfect everything is perfect the seat hugs you you can adjust the seat to hug you more if you want to so why wouldn't you buy this car? I, I can't fault it. I can't. The suspension is perfect. The, this ride and handling and damping is just perfect. Yes, it's a bit lopy in corners because it's not a performance car. It's not that what it is, but it's not. It's a straight line, Autobahn munching performance car. That's what this car is, rather than being a hunkered down, tightened up, hard to drive, actually, sports car, you know? Scary bits. Well, it's got a lot of power, so when you put your foot down, there is a habit of it just kind of drifting around the road, and it, you know, if it's in Sport Plus, it'll just do donuts until it's fed up, until you burnt the tires off. Uh, you cover ground between you and a car overtaking very quickly. It's instant, instant power. It's on tap the whole time, and I love that. Like I said at the beginning, you could literally have left it at the start here and gone, okay, that's the best car in the world. And it pretty much is. It's the, definitely the best car I've driven in the last couple of years. BMW hit it again. It's that, it's that point that they make a driver's car, but they make it so that the back passengers will feel just relaxed and take it easy and all is well in the world. And that's weird. It's weird for that to happen, you know. Okay. Car fanatics out there will know that this is not really an 8 series. That 8 series is, eight, the 8 is a different car than this thing. But I, I get it, you know, it's the next, what were they going to make, a 9? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to do anything else. I adore this car. I'm very happy in this car. I would happily hold on to this car. And yes, this is my new lotto winning car. So, my previous list of lotto winning was BMW 6 Series, Grand Coupe only, um, a Volkswagen California, and something else, something exotic but classic, so older exotic cars, not sure which one, there's multiple ones I'd pick from. Now the 6 is gone and this is replaced at the 8 Series Grand Coupe is at the top of that list, California still exists in there, and of course some mad classic yuck. That's it really. An amazing car, I absolutely adore it. I want to keep it forever and I'd be happy driving it any time of the day or night or whatever. If you need something in West Cork, give me a buzz. I'll take my car and zoom down there to you. It's fantastic and I love it. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have subscribed to the channel and if you haven't, why haven't you? What's wrong with you? This channel is fantastic. Over 50,000 subscribers. Uh, it's, uh, it's brilliant. We do loads of things uh, when it comes to the Sunday service. We do live streams, we do Zoom meetups and chats and calls and all kinds of stuff goes on as well. And we're moving into the autumn season now. So we're going to do a lot of more stuff on that end of it as well. So hopefully you'll be able to join me for some of it. I'm just gonna enjoy the sound of an engine before it's gone. Oh, before it's gone. Before the EV nuts take over. And think that that's a bad sound. <laughs> that's you don't know what you're missing. Anyway, from one petrol head to hopefully another one out there, hit the subscribe button. Uh, enjoy the rest of what's left of this summer. Do you see the, looking out the window? This is summer, by the way. <laughs> this is it. Roll on the frosty mornings is all I can say. It's a man out running. I love running in the rain, actually, a fair summer. Thank you again for watching, and until the next time, I will see you on the far side.